tornadoes to record temperatures. Leap year day in the Ozarks has historically been a little crazy, as we've, as we've been saying. We bring in Natalie Nunn to talk a little bit about that. Yeah, hey guys. So I was digging around for record February heat numbers, and actually leap day 1972, Springfield soared to 81 degrees, which was close to an all-time February record. The record cold for leap year day, well, that is 10 degrees, and that was in 1960. Now, I am going to explain why we need leap year day. And by the end of this explainer, it's going to be clear as mud. So leap year day falls on February 29th. One year, the rotation, the Earth's rotation around the moon takes 365 days, 0.24. So it's like 365 days and a quarter of a day. So that doesn't add up to a perfect calendar year. So here's what they did. <laughs> Without leap day in 100 years, our calendar would be 24 days off. We can't have that. 24 days is a long time. The solution is to add one day every four years, which would solve the problem. Almost. We're still going to be a little off on this. So <laughs> once they've added that one day every four years, we're still about 18 hours off. So every 100 years or so, they skip a leap year. Interesting, I didn't know that. So the next start of the century, 2100 will be skipped because it's not divisible by four or 400. Then after that, they'll have another one. So it takes, <laughs> it takes a long time to get here. By the time we add that extra year of skipping in, we're actually going to only be about 3.33 minutes off. So there you go. That's why we have to have leap year. Angela, clear as mud for you. Oh, <laughs> totally get that. Absolutely. All right. Thank you, Natalie. Well, coming up,